Go internet, so it's me again. So I'm going to show you today how to extract metadata from a file. So the purpose of extracting metadata from a certain file, such as images or documents, will be sometimes if ever you are doing some forensic analysis, you can require some metadata about a certain file, whether it's a malware or whether um, the file is a photo maybe even if you are planning uh, a certain social engineering technique then you can be able to see in terms of um, in terms of OSINT uh, research you can see that uh, a certain file is written uh, using a certain uh, software such as Microsoft Office uh, it's a PDF file maybe it can even tell you the names of the person or the names of the user who was involved on the on the um, on the on the on the writing or in the converting of the of the file to a pdf file so one of the things that uh, metadata must include basically when it comes to to images is the name of the device that has taken a photo maybe even the even the even the U gps coordinates of the of the photo we can see exactly where this person was so this means let's say you upload a, a, a photo to social media then after uploading this photo maybe you are in a vacation so people can be able to see actually where you are even if you took the picture inside the inside your your hotel room or inside the house where people cannot identify but those coordinates sometimes they can they can tell exactly where you were so for this reason i'm going to show you a very simple to use tool called uh, exif tool one of the things that it can it has the capabilities of doing is to let's say i want to append a certain shell code inside a photo or inside a video so i can use this tool in order to in order to 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 append that shell code so that i can exploit a certain vulnerability that might be existing inside the day inside the um, inside the target uh, system so for now i'm going to show you the easiest way to install exif tool is apt install exif tool so i already have exif tool installed right here what we are going to do is to navigate to my file system or my file explorer in order to see the files that i wanted to test so for this reason let us um let us clear the whole terminal here i have already collected some of the of the files inside the inside the inside the folder so for this reason i decided that i am going to test these three these four files in order to see the differences using exif tool one of these photos is an original uh, picture that you can see it was me during a presentation of um lesotho defense force um in 2019 i think then the other one is this one which is a fake photo that has got a shell code inside it it's a php shell code because you can even see that there is a double extension right here but it's a photo you can browse it you can do whatever you want so for this reason i let me open the this budget speech it's lesotho's budget speech i've downloaded it legitimately on the government website and we are going to explore the data about this data right here so what we are going to do now i also have the photo of me and my colleagues when we were in Deben. uh it was a tour at work so this is me and some of my colleagues near moses mabida stadium in Deben north so one of the things that we are going to do is let let's create a short scenario let me say people don't don't know where actually this uh this place could be and maybe if there are some coordinates then it will give exactly uh where i was so let me say somebody is trying to to apply some certain social engineering techniques 
on my Facebook account by telling me that if you were in Cape Town or if you were in Devon like we were so that uh, there is a the, somebody is trying to do this and this because social engineering is all about lying and then pretending like you are somebody else so for this reason so let's um, let's uh, let's try to explore exit tool one of the most awareness things that I I would like to say to to you is that you have to be aware of the of the pictures you post on social media because they might have coincidentally this um, this information about the device that was used to take these pictures or even the people can send you a, a certain picture targeting a certain vulnerability inside your inside your your device maybe it's an android then they ex they can exploit a certain vulnerability in a software that is used one of the, the applications that are used by by android so do not just open the pictures like i am going to show you so let's explore this original uh installing exif tool is very very easy it's out install exif tool it's there in the in the repositories and after that what we are going to do is exif tool uh, maybe let's ask for help then it can tell you that the syntax is this way if you want to see the manual then you can man exif tool then you can see the manual so let me control c okay let me quit this um, okay so we can see all the information right here about this um this tool so let me quit this one and then after that let me exif tool exif tool and then 2019 2019.jpg original so this is the the original file so if you can see that um you can see some juicy information right here and file modification file access date and time and then we can see all this information about this um about this file so this one doesn't have any 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 initial code so let me go to to this one which is dot php dot jpeg so let's see the difference here you can see that um the same photo um that looks exactly like that one has got the document name and some php code right here so this this will this makes it um this makes uh this image actually suspicious so during forensic investigation sometimes in images or during open source intelligence then you can see some of this information about this file so this is the metadata about this to this these files so let's pass to the to the pdf file and then see what we can be able to attain so let's clear this and then exit tool next time i'm thinking of showing you how to append the shell code inside an image using this tool so let me exit tool and then uh, 2020 um, now we have got the speech.pdf so we can find so much information about this um, about this uh, about this file and i don't believe even the owner or uh, the person who with these names Malishwane Lukomola is aware that the use the, the user of uh, the computer user ha can be seen by even the criminals if they have downloaded this information maybe they are planning a social engineering attack so this this can make them uh, they, they, they can Pro, this is profession of a good uh, open source intelligence because if we know this person and then we can just google them to 
to different social media accounts so that we can confirm actually this person might be working for for the government and then this will this can make it easier for for the cyber criminals to to check who how they look like and even maybe the types of passwords they are they this person is um, the types of passwords maybe the, that this this person might like because of what they post online whether she has got some kids whether she loves her husband whether she she loves her work very much all those sort of things are very important in the eyes of cyber criminals and let's take it to another scenario where maybe a criminal has written uh, a fake pdf file that exploits a certain vulnerability in adobe reader or adobe acrobat so we can try to view some metadata before static uh, uh, file analysis or static malware analysis so viewing this metadata can give us some more information about the file but you have to be aware that when the hackers are more advanced they make sure they delete this information so let's go to this file and i want to show you something so let's go to exif tool and then image um, so let's see here now we can see as much information as possible right here because we can have um 2020 uh, file access and no change okay let's see software that was used okay so let's go 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 and then it can give you as much information as possible because of our smartphones because if you capture that uh maybe you invite the the hackers in order to see where actually are you so let's check and then see all right flash fired okay that is not a uh, uh, great date it's 2019 um june yes the dates are correct date uh -huh. these dates are correct so directly photographs okay so let's see jpeg uh, old style all right so create date all this information is right here about this so let's see the gps position it can tell you that it was 20 29 degrees 49 okay so we can take these coordinates now and then see actually where it was because we can see the gps date and time we can also see the gps latitude as well as the longitude so what we are going to do it also tells you it was southeast so this is the good way to see that so what we can do is to go to gps coordinate dot net in order to see actually where was the actual position of this person so let's say we go to gps coordinates dot net so that we can be able to to see that now that we have got um to the website let's put the the latitude and the longitude so no don't allow that okay so for that reason let me let me go to the terminal and all right so let's see if we can be able to to see that oh sorry 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 so what we are going to do is to come to the gps coordinates dot net in order to see whether we can get the exact location for this user now we can see that it's south east longitude it's east so that means we will come here here on latitude then come here so we are going to copy all this information right it's 29 degrees right and 49 
all right and then uh, here then we copy all this information right here so that we can actually paste it right there so because um, let me go to that one copy and then paste it here and one and now 51.84 so it has to give us the the relevant information right so let's get the the address so that we can be able to see if ever we can be able to so there you go you can see that this is the 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 place vision active gym is a road stamford hill Devon. so this is the actual location where this person was so if you okay let me okay so you can see that um it is at a queen yes it's somewhere here Devon. so this is where actually we were so this is one of the good ways these uh, cyber criminals can be able to to drag you through a photo so one of the things when you write a, a certain file make sure that your your username is actually not tagged inside that file like we have seen right here let me check um okay mm, let me clear like this one but pdf so it can give you all the information about the the about the target that implies that if ever there is um, a social engineering attack you are planning you can be able to utilize uh, against the microsoft office 2016 maybe you can implement a silent macro so that it can take advantage of this person because after you knew some names then you can navigate through various social media platforms in order to see who actually is this person so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please press uh, subscribe and like my videos if you if you if you if you like my content that will make me make more content because people will be able to see that I'm able to solve problems for people. Thank you very much for watching.